Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create AWS VPC in Terraform. So VPC is one of the most important service in AWS and you need to know how to create it in Terraform. But before we actually know how to create it in Terraform, we need to have the good understanding of how it is done in the console. So right now I'm in my AWS console and if I click on create VPC option, you can see I have the option to create a VPC along with subnet so either public or private and then you also need to create a route table which can be used to attach a subnet with either internet gateway or NAT gateway so we, in this video we are going to learn how to create VPC one public subnet one private subnet an internet gateway and how to create a route table and associate it with the subnet so diagram would look something like this where we will be having a VPC with this side of block a public subnet private subnet, internet gateway and route table, everything in one Terraform code. So let's get started. So in this video, I have made it in steps where there are different steps for all the uh, components where first step is to create VPC, then public subnet, private subnet, internet gateway. So let's get started. Resource for the AWS VPC is going to be AWS underscore VPC. And let's name this as my VPC. I'm going to name this my VPC. So whenever you create a VPC, you need to pass in the CIDR block. CIDR block is going to be 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And I'm also going to add tags here. Tags just to name my VPC. So I'm going to tag is what you see on the console. So I'm going to name it as my Terraform VPC. All right. So this will create a VPC. Let's go ahead, ahead and create a subnet. So to create a resource as subnet, we have to pass the name as AWS underscore subnet. And I'm going to name it as public subnet. And here I have to pass in in which VPC do I want to create this subnet. So I have to pass in the VPC ID. And if I show you that in the console as well, if I go here and go back to my VPCs, Let's say I want to create a subnet in one of the VPC. I have to click on create subnet option and here I have to pass in the VPC ID. Similarly, you have to do that in the Terraform code as well. So VPC ID is going to be the VPC in which you want to create this subnet. So AWS VPC dot my VPC, which is here, AWS VPC dot my VPC dot ID. So my VPC dot ID. Then I have to pass in the CIDR block for this uh, subnet. So we are going to choose the CIDR block, which is going to be 10.0.1.0 slash 24. So CIDR block is going to be 10.0.1.0 slash 24. This can be anything. You can change your CIDR block according to your own preference, but I'm going to keep it as 10.0.1.0 slash 24. Similarly, now I have to create a private subnet. So I can copy this same configuration here and paste it in my private subnet. Just make a change here, make a change in the name which is going to be private subnet and also make sure it make a change in the CIDR block as well because if you use the same you're going to, you're going to get the error so I'm going to make it 10.0.2.0 which is similar to what I want in my diagram as well right now we have one VPC one subnet public one and one private subnet I'm going to create an internet gateway so internet gateway is necessary for you to have an internet connection to a public subnet so I'm going to create an internet gateway which will be later attached to the public subnet so to create an internet gateway the name of the resource is going to be aws underscore internet underscore gateway and i'm going to name it as igw right so in the in the curly brackets you have to pass in the argument which is first going to be the vpc id which means in which subnet do you want to create this in which vpc do you want to create this internet gateway so i'm going to copy the same vpc id so if you want you can copy it this way like copying the whole thing and then paste it here make sure you remove the quotation marks because this is you don't need a quotation mark here put a dot in between so aws vpc dot my vpc and lastly dot id because that's what we want vpc id this will tell the terraform that i want the internet gateway in this vpc id which is created here next thing is to create a route table so i'm going to create a route table a route table is used to provide the routes for example if i show you that in the console right now i have a default route table so i'm going to go in the route table section here and let me show you this route table so whenever you create a route table you have to define a route which is then attached to the internet gateway right so we are going to do the same thing we're going to create a route table so name of the route table is aws route underscore table 
and name it as public rt or public route table something like that ne next we have to pass in the argument which is obviously going to be vpc id in which vpc do you want to create this route table so i want this to be created in aws underscore vpc dot my vpc dot id and then you have to pass in the routes so route is going to be cider block equals to 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 which means every IP should be connected to which gateway it should be connected to the internet gateway that I created right now so I'm, you have to pass in the gateway ID and the gateway ID is going to be internet gateway so I'm going to copy this again AWS internet gateway dot IGW dot ID so IGW put a dot in between and dot ID so this is going to create a route to map all the IPs to this internet gateway ID and then lastly you have to create association route table association to map this route table to the public sub that you created so the we have to pass this route table association the resource is going to be route AWS underscore route table underscore association and I'm going to name it as public RT association Alright, in this you have to pass in two arguments, one is going to be which route table and one is going to be which subnet. So I'm going to pass in the subnet ID first, subnet underscore ID, which is going to be the subnet ID of my public subnet. So subnet ID of my public subnet. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in my subnet ID column. Subnet ID is going to be AWS subnet dot public subnet dot ID. Alright, next thing I need to pass is going to be the route table ID. So route underscore table underscore ID is going to be this ID of this route table that we created right now. So AWS route table dot public RT dot ID. So paste it, put it down in between and dot ID. So this should now create your VPC, your subnet, public subnet, private subnet, internet gateway, route table, and then associate that route table with the public subnet. So let's go and test this out. I'm going to open my terminal and run the first command that you need to run all the time you're working with Terraform that is going to be in it. So when I run, once I run this command, it's going to initialize the backend, which means it is going to download the provider mentioned here, which is AWS in our case. And it is going to initialize and download all the things necessary for us to work with AWS. Let's wait for it to complete. Let's wait for it to complete. Once it is completed, we can then start working with Terraform. So this is the first step that you want to do. And this is going to create a file here. So let's wait. Before I do that, let's show you that I don't have any VPC with this CIDR range in my account. So I'm going to go into my your VPC section and right now I have three VPCs, but all of them I have different CIDR range. No one with the 10.0.0 slash 16 or no one with the name as my Terraform VPC. So we are going to apply this and we will see the, the, the VPC in the console having all of the things mentioned as subnet and everything. So you can see now it says Terraform has been successfully initialized and you will now begin working with Terraform. So next command I'm going to run is going to be Terraform validate to check if everything is correct or not, all the syntax is correct or not. So, so yeah, I get the success configuration is valid, which means everything is correct. Let's run Terraform plan to see what is actually going to be created. And if you're sure, then we can go ahead and run the Terraform apply command. So Terraform plan is going to, it sh has shown us that it is going to create six resources. So first is going to be VPC, which is going to be my VPC having this side range. And then it is going to create the public subnet, private subnet, route table, then route table as well. So this is route table association and this is route table. Then you have, you'll also create the internet gateway. That is what we want. So let's go and run the up, apply command. So Terraform apply hyphen auto hyphen approve. So once I run this command, it's going to start creating the resources in my, in my account. So you can see it will now start creating the resource. So AWS my VPC dot my VPC creating. And if I refresh the page here, you should see the VPC now, which has been completed after three seconds, just three seconds. So you can see my VPC is created, which is having this side range. So let me just uh, select that so that we can see all the different subnets as well. So subnet two subnets are created, which is public and private. So two subnets created, then we should also have a route table created. So route table also present 
So if, if I show you the idea of route table, route table here has an ID of RTB0551. So RTB0551. Then I also it should also have an internet gateway. So you can see internet gateway is also there with it, which is attached. This is how you create an uh, AWS VPC in Terraform. If you want me to create a NAT gateway and attach it to the private subnet, please let me know in the comment section. If you found this video informative, please like this video, subscribe to this channel and have a good day.